your head on, on stabilized mode. Welcome to the fourth video. The fourth video is all about that transition from auto stable mode to optimized mode. Or on the spectrum language, it would be moving from safe to AS3X. If you want to get really good at flying planes and do the aerobatic maneuvers that you have in your mind that you're going to be doing, straight up, back off throttle. I'm holding down. I'm just working. You got to get off of that stabilization it's auto leveling system. You got to get in the mode and AS3X or Optimize is great for helping with wind and bouncing around and such. And it's, it can be very, very helpful, but it, it's different. It is guaranteed different. Uh, so when, so that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to go up, fly around and stabilize. I'm going to click off and now we're in a different mode. And I'm going to kind of talk about how the stick is going to respond very differently. So we're going to go through that process. It'll be fun. You're going to learn a lot. Stick around. If you want to do cool aerobatics, you got to get off the gyro. Let, uh, let me restate. You got to get off the self-leveling stabilization mode or safe mode. And it's just the way it is. You know, your plane's not going to do it. And frankly, there's some planes that you don't like to be flown in that kind of mode from a landing perspective. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is right now I'm in that stabilization mode. I'm in that stabilization mode, so we're gonna get off of that. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take off. As you see right now, that's the limited bank. Got the stick all the way over, limited bank, which is fine, but you can't do a roll. You can't do a loop. If I try to do a loop straight up, that, that's it. That's not gonna get you a loop. So we gotta get off it. So when I flip my switch, I'm in what FMS would call the, um, drawing a blank right now. Sorry, FMS. Optimize mode, which is using the gyro to just dissipate wind. but I can do some loops and rolls. Got it. can do a roll. You'll notice the angle that I'm flying is much different too. I'm gonna change up high rates, which allows me to do even more. All right, so now I am in this mode. So a couple things you're gonna have to notice. When you flip that switch, your plane might be out of whack. It might be, give you an opportunity to trim it as soon as you flip the switch. Now, good news is you can flip the switch right back if you get into panic mode, which is fine. But make your circuits a pattern the same way you did. But in this case, I make the, I set the bank and I'm pulling back on elevator. Right now, I'm only using elevator because I already initiated the bank. Now I self-level by going to the right a little bit. I'll show you again. I'm gonna bank, go to neutral, and give elevator. Now I just went right to self-level. That's the difference. The plane will not self-level. Some planes, because like a high wing with some dihedral, will self-level but there's a lot of the planes that you're thinking about getting and they will not self-level. I have to self-level. So go to the right, pull back, using the elevator to make my turn, self-level, self-level, and so on. Take some practice, 
But if you ever get panicked and can't figure things out, self-level mode, just hit that switch and you're back on, you're back where you need to be. I would recommend you not flip it back into <clears throat> AS3X optimized mode in a turn. So right now I'm in my optimized mode, flying around. So I let, have to level my wings myself. Make my turn, elevator pull back a little bit. Make right, turn, self level, level, go the other way. So once you get comfortable doing that, you might have to go back and forth between the different modes. All right, we've played around enough. Now we're gonna do some landing approaches. Making my approach, backing off on throttle. Working my throttle, I'm gonna fly right over the runway. Throttling up, getting a little wind, and the optimized slash AS3X mode helps me in the wind. Keeps the plane from trying to kill itself. All right, let's do a touch and go. Back off on throttle, making my turn. Little throttle, backing off, little throttle, backing off. Wanted to pause for a second just to remind you, okay, you're going to have to self-level. So as you're coming in for landing, you're going to be working the sticks a lot more than you did on safe mode. So keep in mind that it's going to take some practice. Keep my nose up, touch down, and throttle back up. Keep a little power out of the turn. And every time I make a turn, I have to self-level myself. <laughs> Okay, so that's the tricky part you're gonna have is getting through that, that you need to initiate and straighten your wings out. If you need to land with, you know, this, the safe mode or stabilization mode, go ahead and use it. There's no, nothing wrong with it. It's just if you wanna go to the next level, which is the next video, and that's the aerobatics. If you want to do aerobatics, you can't be in the stabilization mode. You have to get out of that. And this plane, that's what we're going to do in the next video to show you how that all works. Coming in, backing off throttle, little elevator, throttle, elevator. 40 or if you will. Backing off throttle, coming in, backing off throttle. A little more throttle, backing off, getting the nose up. <laughs> All right. So now you're at that point. Get comfortable with this. Do a lot of flying in this mode, on and off of that self-leveling mode, to get to the point where you can take off and land without it. Don't go to the next step. I'd like you to watch the next video, but don't go to it until you can really master this part of it.